This week in the field, sometimes getting the photo you want means beating the crowds. Hey everyone, I'm Scott Davenport. Welcome to In The Field. Thanks for joining me today. Quick announcement, 2018 workshops. I got one in February, one in April. The dates are announced, the locations are announced, all the details are on my site. If you're interested in joining me on one of these, get yourself on the interest list. The invites are gonna be going out in the next month or so. So uh, it's uh, kind of first come, first serve. You get in the interest list, it's save your place in line. All the details are on my site. So hope to see you on one of my workshops in 2018. So today's topic, uh, beating the crowds. Uh, there's this, um, let's see, where do I start? This place is outside of Kyoto, it's been like a, a bucket list photo place for me for a long time. It's this uh, bamboo grove. You have probably seen photos of it before, uh, you know, visited by photographers uh, <laughs> of, of your end of now, but I really wanted to go there. It's just a, a beautiful place, it's very photogenic. And you know, uh, I have no problem with shooting the iconic. If it hasn't been shot by me, then it hasn't been shot. I get to experience these things just like all the other photographers before me. Uh, but it's a popular place, right? And so I wanted to have the empty forest. And so that meant getting there really, really early. Uh, upside is the grove is open 24 hours, of course, you know, in the evenings and nights, it's dark. So the choice I had was starting off completely early in the morning before 5 a.m. to get myself out there. And I'm really glad I did. Let me show you some of the footage from this outing. And I just had a whole ton of fun here. I just got into the bamboo grove, which is dimly lit behind me, but uh, it's nice it's in the morning. It's peaceful, it's calm. A handful of folks walking through. Uh, I should pretty much have uh, carte blanche for setting up different compositions and trying out a few things with the camera. This is one of the compositions I'm setting up, straightforward. Uh, I'm already at the end of the grove. It's a very short path, but uh, you can see it's, it's just gorgeous. The, the light this morning is great. It's uh, maybe a couple hours after sunrise. I'm getting some nice glow in the background. The sun is just off to the right of this opening. And uh, I'm gonna head down to, in the very distance, you see another fellow photographer out there who's uh, shooting around a curve. I'm gonna be hitting that on my walk back down. And the camera setup is straightforward, F16, and just letting the camera meter in aperture priority mode. I am bracketing the shots really as a crutch, make sure I capture all the detail, especially you can see a little bit of that zebra striping on the LCD there. The, uh, that's, that's telling me I've got a little bit of a blown out area if uh, I don't play around with exposure compensation. All right, one more composition for the morning, this little curve in the path. You can see, set up very low, same angle you're seeing here with the video. But I'm getting all the trees and those nice little splashes of light coming through the tops of the bamboo. One of the final things I'm doing is focusing the camera up and looking straight up at the canopy. We've got an interesting mix of some of these older, I don't know if they're pine trees or something else, probably something else, and the bamboo. We're making some really cool patterns up in there. Again, F16, bracketing to catch everything. And I am taking a couple into the forest itself, shallower depths of field to, uh, to just kind of bring out the first few stalks of bamboo and let the rest become a little soft and faded. So one other amusing little thing is that uh, I'm probably gonna be finished here in five to seven minutes, and it took me an hour and a half to get here, but it is well worth it. So even at you know, 6.15 or so in the morning by the time I arrived, it wasn't empty. There were a few other folks, a handful of photographers and just other folks that were just out for a morning walk, uh, but it was you know, manageable, right? You know, someone who's walking through the scene, you know, a couple of minutes later, they've cleared through, or at least they're moving enough where you take a couple of photos, you know, you can you know, brush them away, do some of the magic we can do in post-processing to clear things out. Uh, what was interesting, well, here, you know, let me show you, here's a photo that I, I did finish, I finished the processing on it, and I'm very happy with it. This is, you know, one of those, you know, bucket list items. I wanted to get this one into my library. Uh, very glad that I sacrificed the sleep in order to get this without people. Later that same day, like four hours later, I went back with my whole family, we, you know, take them to see the Grove and a bunch of other things in this area outside of Kyoto, and it was you know, not packed, really. I guess that's, a, that's an accurate statement. It was really, really crowded. Um, it wasn't, you know, shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder people, but 
every three feet there was a person and you know everyone just milling about and walking through. Uh, still very enjoyable, but not as photogenic. The tip of the week is beat the crowds, and sometimes that means sacrificing sleep. So uh, you know, I was certainly tired the rest of that day, uh, but I don't see how I would have been able to pull off the, the photo that I wanted with the crowds there. You know, there was part of me that thought, oh, maybe I'll just you know, throw on a, a really you know, thick 10-stop you know, ND filter and people will move through and I could see them disappearing. I'm glad that I didn't rely on that plan and went out before the crowds came. Yeah, man, I went to this place twice in the same day within a span of four hours, but that was okay. Uh, just people were there, but they really weren't like moving through the scene quickly. It wasn't like, you know, like a train station or something where people are just passing through. They're trying to get from point A to point B. Folks are coming here to enjoy it, walk through slowly, you know, take in the atmosphere. And I totally get that. So you got the opportunity to beat crowds, do it, and you'll get the shots that you want. And then you can go back and, you know, enjoy it at a different time of day without necessarily your photographer's eye on and that's it for this week in the field. I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you did, please let me know somehow. Share this with a friend. I'd like to see the, the channel keep growing. And uh, I notice the questions are starting to come in. I'm going to be putting together a, a Q&A episode here soon. So if you've got questions about photography, send them on in to me. I usually turn an answer around to you in a couple of days. You don't have to wait around for a video. And uh, that's about it for today. Until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. And happy shooting. <laughs>